this adventure with Lookamu, we head to the boat work, pull Lookamu out of the water. We get to work cleaning, and we make and plug some holes. Not even at ours yet. A few more to go still. So we're about to come out of the water. And here is our list of things that we hope to accomplish. Yeah, it could be a busy couple of days, I think. Time to drop the head sail for some minor repairs. What's got? Water maker. That I'm handling myself, it would appear. sodium metabisulfate yep. for pickling. There'll be pickles. Membrane, hopefully. Now comes the more involved part, installation. <laughs> it's really clever the way they do it. They secure the front, and then once the front's got some pressure on it, they then move the front forward from above and then secure the rear. It's freaking me out a little bit. Seeing your baby being held up in the air. Few barnacles we'll need to scrape off. Otherwise, she's not looking too bad. So we're taking the stripe off. It's Jamie wanted the boat to look a bit prettier. That's about an hour's work, I reckon. But this is about to go really good because it's got no holes in it. Well, I'm about to start sanding the uh, antifoul. It's giving it a light sand. Just finished sanding the black part to the antifoul, <laughs> the uh, underside of the boat. So I've got various little patches to do, and I've got sail drives to do, and props. Um, but it's a little bit dirty this job. And I'm, under all this, I am soaking wet. With sweat. It's not so my job today, I got the uh, stickers off yesterday. See, no stickers. Uh, is to get off the adhesive, and I've done the whole other side. But pissing with rain is really giving me the shit. <clears throat> but it's just let up a little bit. So back to it. It is pissing with rain again. Really windy. I'm just not going to go out. That's the before shot. Do 
not paint the prop. Do not paint the prop. Do not paint the prop. What are you putting on? A epoxy primer. Two coats? Two coats. We've got the edge primer on the leg. Now we're going to use prop speed on the prop, which Denise is going to apply now. I can't talk. Uh, we have just put prop speed on the propellers, which is like anti foul that's special for the propellers, which is a pretty yellow colour and will technically make the boat go faster than it did before. We'll see. Although, as a yacht, I doubt it will go any faster, yeah. but nevertheless, as long as it lasts longer. Yeah. Now putting on the last coat of, effectively an undercoat, primer, before the antifoul goes on. So we're going to do the sail drive legs and we're going to be doing the hulls. What is Denise up to? Did you ask yourself the same question? Naming Billy. Little looking you. In a tender, suspended over cement. Nothing could go wrong. Painting again, but after. Looks much better. And the disaster that is the inside of the boat has spilled out to the outside of the boat while maintaining a decent amount of disaster on the inside and not to contain it just to one room we have also destroyed the front berth and the garage. Just put a big hole in the boat intentionally though. Just for reference, people. See, all the way in. It's inside of the boat. <laughs> and look, it's not very thick. I thought it was much thicker than that. Now, there he is. Oh, we just need to get him out. So, we've got the membrane installed and got these little brackets holding it in nice and tight. have rigged up a uh, circuit breaker for the water maker and we've run our cables all the way through the boat through to the water maker. Um, so now we need to finish off the plumbing for the water maker. We need to put in our water maker freshwater test tap in the bathroom. So this is our pantry. Here's our water maker tubing and I'm just waiting for Jamie to shove it through that little teeny tiny hole back there so I can grab it and pull it through. Yeah, he says he'll be ready. He says he'll be ready in April. So we're trying to pull through the freshwater um, tubing from the water maker through to the two tanks which we'll then tap into. So there's one tank here and there's the port tank over there. And it's got to get through this little flange which has been unbelievably difficult to get through. We have a through hole fitting where our water comes in. You can see it's currently in the off position. It runs up through what we call a skimmer box. It's just a large filter to take out any large particles that could be in the water. Water then runs from our large filter down into our Rain Man water maker. It then goes through a fine filter that will take out any smaller particles before it goes through a high pressure pump back in the Rain Man water maker. It then comes out of this high pressured hose and enters into the membrane. The membrane itself is basically a very, very fine filter that takes out everything, including the salt. So what you end up with is pure drinking water and you also end up with like a brine highly um, salty sort of water mix as well. 
the brine you can't see, there's another um, hose that comes out that end that runs through and under uh, the hull and enters the starboard toilet sink and so it actually runs out into the ocean. Then we have our fresh water. So our fresh water then comes up here and we can choose, so it always comes up from the bottom and we can choose for it to go this way which is to try a test water tap. Once you're happy with the water coming out, so you can drink it, you can actually taste it with a test water tap, then what we need to do is we will rotate this, like so. Water is then coming up and going through to our tanks. This valve here, water is coming up the bottom, and we need to decide, do we want it to go into the starboard tank, or in this position over here, do we want it to go to the port tank? Those hoses are then plumbed through the boat, and they then end up into our tanks, which I'll just show to show you those. You can see the two water hoses coming through, tapped into the top of here. The other one then goes through and off to the other port tank. Where are you going? I need to go and get a new wind machine. Wow. <laughs> Very technical. The wind gauge itself, I need to actually, the brains of it, the anonymous is fine, but I need to replace that and also get a Navionics Sharp for the South Pacific. So, as well and as some, some yeah, Don't some, some seacocks and some other fittings. So, I've borrowed their bike. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share it with your friends.